Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of The Mediator. This is a special Listen and Learn segment. I am here with LaDonna Walker, and we will be talking about her run for the city school board. Tell us a little bit about yourself, LaDonna, and, uh, and why you're running for the city school board of Youngstown. Sure. Well, you've mentioned I'm LaDonna Walker. I'm married to Larry Newell, and I have a beautiful seven-year-old. Um, I was born, right, raised right here in Youngstown, Ohio, graduate of the Rand School. And I'm running for board because currently I'm an employee of Youngstown City Schools working at one school, but I'm looking to make a bigger commitment and impact more students. Instead of just my hundred or so, I want to impact the 5,000 that attend our school district right now. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, uh, Youngstown has seen some transitions over the years. They've seen probably about 30, 30 years of transitioning from school board to CEOs to uh, transitioning from schools. Now, what voice do you plan on giving the, the next generation of kids if you do get your spot of, uh, on school board? We want to push consistency. Uh -huh. Consistency with staffing, consistency with the curriculum that we use in our classrooms, consistency with our family events, consistency with you know, sharing strategies that they can use at home to increase and improve their academics during the school year. Um, we definitely want to prove and bring back the village to the schools. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now, the teachers have had to deal, you, you mentioned the curriculum, the teachers have had to deal with so many issues like COVID-19. They've had to deal with uh, strict curriculums. And on top of that, they've had to beat the grades of, of passing, tried to get a passing grade. Tell us how you plan to uh, shine some light on that as well. Well, actually, I just left the school board meeting where they went ahead and gave the, uh, the, the state their new plan. Okay. So, the pl so my goal is to work in that plan uh -huh. and just really focus on curriculum and the strategy so that we can meet the um, benchmarks that we have set for the district in the upcoming three to five years. Now, do you think House Bill 70 is good for the district or not? I do not. However, I do believe that it, it, it allowed us to take a good look in the mirror. Uh -huh. It allowed us to put a little fire under us yeah. and, and take a good hard look at, at what was really going on inside of our schools. That's a good answer. Now, uh, now you, so you think that they need to go back to old school academics, it sounds like. Absolutely. I think um, with someone outside looking in and, uh -huh. and over us um, has created, you know, some, some trust issues, um, some, some insecurities, some uncomfortableness. And we all know sometimes that uncomfortableness really gives us a chance to become victorious. And that's what we're looking to do in the next three to five years. So you think there is hope for Youngstown City Schools? There is absolutely hope for Youngstown City Schools. Have you been with the kids and have you talked to them? Are they ready for the, uh, to try to beat the grades and the standards? Are they motivated? They're motivated. They're, they're excited. Uh -huh. They've gone through a lot of transitions and changes and inconsistencies, just like the adults involved in our district. And so it could be a traumatic experience for our scholars. Yeah. And so we just want to provide that nurturing, that love, that care. We want to motivate and encourage them as much as we can. That makes sense. Now, when you talk about parenting, uh, do you think the parents, will, how, what, what role could the parents play in getting the kids up to par? The parents uh, just really need to be aware uh -huh. of what's happening in the schools, uh, be a little more present. And if they can't be present, we need to go to them. We need to work on building better relationships with our parents uh -huh. so that they can then accept and partner with us, um, like I said, the strategies at home to help improve their, their scholars' academics. That makes sense. Now, academic-wise, do you have any last comments on, uh, on why people should uh, consider you and, and vote for you for the board seat? Well, I've been working in Youngstown City Schools since 2010. So I've had the opportunity to work with parents. I've been a tutor. Yeah. I've been a parent liaison, a parent engagement coordinator, a community liaison within yeah. the school. Yeah. And, and so when it comes to academics, I'm a mom. Yeah. I'm a mother first. Uh -huh. And so there's no reason why my daughter gets straight A's. And I hope that the same will happen for all of our scholars as, as well. So you're motivated to, to do this job and inspired. I feel as though I was created to, to do the job. Yeah, and you and you're, you're, are you a product of the Youngstown City School system? I am, I was born and raised in Youngstown City Schools. I graduated from Three Rand School in 1993. Uh -huh. um, and my husband also graduated from East. And so we're looking, I'm looking to improve the school district so that my daughter can share that same legacy with her parents. Okay, one last time, tell the people who you are and uh, tell them uh, so they can know who you are. When, they, when you, when you may place that vote, tell, make sure you look at the camera and tell the people who you are. So. I'm LaDonna Walker and you want to vote for me, 
someone who's going to roll up their sleeves and get the work done on behalf of you and your scholars. I want to thank you so much. Now, are there any last comments you want to, uh, to speak to the people of the city of Youngstown? Absolutely. I hope that you will join me in this race and vote for me. Um, I'm looking to really bring that, that village approach back to our schools, building stronger relationships, making better connections for onward and upward uh, success. And we want, I want to be able to do that together with you. How can people get a hold of you? Are, are you? Do you have a social media account if they want to learn more about your, your plans for the area and anything that you may, may want to add so people can know more about you? Do you have an email? A, a, a... Yes, actually, they can email me any questions or comments that they want. Um, that can be reached at ldrwalker at yahoo.com. And I'm LaDonna Walker on Facebook. Feel free to share comments or tag me in my messenger with questions and I'll, I will respond. Thank you so much for doing this interview, uh, LaDonna. And uh, thank you so much out there for tuning in. If you want to go learn more about her, go to her page, vote for. And uh, this segment is, is specifically designed for that purpose. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the media this week. I'll be right back. Tune in and don't forget to subscribe to Method 8 Inc. YouTube channel. You can also watch free public entertainment. And don't forget to show some support by visiting www.method8inc.com by buying something, clicking something, watching something, or just reading something. You can also sponsor a program as well. That's www.method8inc.com. Buy stuff, watch stuff, or read stuff. I am back for this bonus segment with LaDonna Walker. Now, LaDonna, uh, personally, I've talked to a lot of friends, a lot of people who have been inside of the Youngstown City School District. And over the years, there's been a lot of transitioning. They've had CEO after CEO. They've had to transition from school after school. They've had to go from Wilson to Cheney, from South High to Wilson. So tell us a little bit about what the school board is doing to try to at least minimize or try to give get the kids vision and maybe talk a little bit more before they make any more changes in the Youngstown City School System. At this point, uh, we're currently uh, having parent surveys. Um, we've done that in the past, just trying to get parent feedback, trying to get feedback from our teachers. And what we're hearing is that they want more and need more consistency. Yeah, consistency. Now, uh, you said you were a part of Youngstown City School. Tell us a little bit about your experiences with the school system. Were you satisfied growing up? I, I loved my schools. I grew up on the north side of town. Um, one thing that I can say throughout the 30 years of transitions is that we've lost a lot with our arts. Our scholars are very talented. They're musically inclined. They write poetry. And we need to get a lot of the arts back into all of our schools. Yeah, and that's one thing that I was going to ask you. So I'm glad you uh, caught me before I got to that question. Now, when you talk about the arts, uh, people are very, very gifted in this area. I've seen it myself. I've been doing this for 14 years. I've seen a lot of gifted people. Now, how do you guys plan on incorporating that back into the schools? Well, I know there have been conversations with the uh, SMARTS program themselves, particularly from my school. Um, we've also kind of talked about bringing some uh, community people in to talk about their careers with our students yeah. because it's not just exuding their talent, but it's also about discipline. When I played clarinet since fourth grade, yeah. and it taught me a lot about discipline and being able to play in front of large groups, built my confidence as a young person. Great. Well, this could be your candidate for the board. and. Uh and we'll, we'll, we'll look forward to her and look, I, I want to thank you so much for coming thank on you and for having just me. giving you us uh, your time. So that shows that she's serious and she wants to be a part of the changes taking place in this community right now. The momentum is shifting and uh, she's taking advantage of that. Well, thank you so much again for this personal segment, bonus segment. If they want to find you, go to her social media account or they can email you. Give that real quick for this segment. Email is ldrwalker at yahoo.com. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for tuning in uh, this week. I will be back next week through, looking through over 200 more stories just for you. Thank you for tuning to the media with me, Brian West. Have a good week, everybody. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The media is here.